Are you fancy meeting you oh, here? Oh, I can't nice believe this. <laughs> yeah, this is not the circumstances in which I expected to be talking to you. Nor me, Rachel. It's always good to talk to you, but honestly, um, I didn't think that it would be under these circumstances. Yet another set of indictments. What's up, everybody? This is Matt from Eric Patriot News, and welcome to the channel. And that is Romeo right next to me. And today, obviously, we're going to be talking about Hero Clinton going on Rachel Maddow and talking about the indictments. And as you can see, she's laughing her ass off about it. Well, yeah, well, I mean, do you blame her? She broke the law way up. I mean, first of all, Trump didn't break any laws. She actually broke the law and egregiously broke the law. 30,000 emails, bleach bit. Everyone knows the whole story. She is the last person in the world who should be laughing, Matt. She is a criminal scumbag. Well, this just proves that there's a, uh, a two-tier justice system. One for uh, people like me and you and Trump, and one for people like her that are part of the establishment. Absolutely. Absolutely, it does. And it's pathetic. And uh, guys, just let you know, we have another video of them two talking more about this. So let's go ahead and bring it up. One of the things that we have learned by living it in these past few years is that democracy needs the trust of the people. That's right. That um, the system of democracy at its heart is the idea that the people get to decide how we are governed. And if we, be if we no longer believe that our will is effectuated through the system, if bad actors tell us falsely that every election is stolen and that the only way an election is uh, trustworthy is if they come out on top of it, um, then something, it's, it, it's, it tells you something not just about that person or that moment. It maybe wounds us as a democracy and in a way that is hard to repair. Mm -hmm. What do you think about how we get better um, after the wounds that have been inflicted on us through this process? Well, I think, you know, the truth matters. Um, I think having these cases be brought and be brought in such professional manners, we'll see how they unfold. Obviously, uh, the trials, um, if there are trials, are going to be critically important. But the article you mentioned that I published about the weaponization of loneliness really does, in my view, point to the larger cultural concerns because the lack of trust, the divisiveness, the undermining of faith in ourselves, in each other, uh, respect for our institutions, uh, the rule of law, all of that has been deliberately inculcated within our body politic. You know, there were trends before. I mean, we have seen how people have become more isolated, less community oriented, less civically minded. Then we see. What's funny is she's saying this and she's the same person that did the Russiagate that was completely false and not true. Not only that, but these two sitting right here were two of the loudest voices in 2016 that the election was rigged. Yes. Two yes, of the loudest that, voices. That Russia was interfering. That yeah, that right. Russia was interfering. Yeah. See how social media and technology has certainly accelerated a lot of those trends, but the deliberate effort to divide Americans, to lie to Americans about what was going on literally in front of their own eyes, what happened on January 6th, don't believe what you saw, believe what I tell you. Those are all the hallmarks of authoritarian. Uh, what? That's exactly what the Democrats are doing with that's January 6th. Exactly, that is what I was going to say. That is exactly what they did. <laughs> the thing is, the media and everybody else saying, don't listen to what other people are saying. Listen to what we're telling you. Don't do your own research. Right, right. Which is why as soon as somebody like Tucker Carlson got a hold of the videotapes from January 6th, within a week, Jacob Chansley, the QAnon shaman, released from prison. Well, they totally lied in his trial. They lied in many trials. And she is part of the problem. When it comes to what the media did after January 6th and what the January 6th committee did, they were saying, look, don't look at any other evidence. Don't check your don't check for yourself what we're telling you. Listen to what we're saying. And if you disagree with us, you're a terrorist. That's exactly right. You're un you're un-American. You're 
you're not only to be your opinion should be ignored but you should be socially abused on every platform for having those ideas and these are matt these are terrible people rachel maddow is a terrible person and i don't believe either rachel or hillary are the people we talked about earlier where they're true believers no they no. know they're lying dicta dictatorial kinds of uh, uh leaders yeah really really sad to get that message from her after benghazi and the emails and just everything she is the last person in the world who should be talking about punishing criminals well uh when it comes to uh her laughing about donald trump getting prosecuted and everything it disgusted me because the thing is she's one of these people that have gotten away with a bunch of shit including the server the server's the big one i mean that's the big one yeah. and uh and you could almost uh, compare it to what happened with the uh, document case for uh, Trump. And not only that, with the, when it comes to document case, you can compare it to the pre other presidents before him. But that one there, where she wasn't even president, she was a secretary of state, and she had a server inside her home. And then she destroyed cell phones. She destroyed records yep. of the server. And nothing happened to her. But nothing. Trump. But Trump. In four different states, four different districts, he's getting prosecuted and indicted for things that uh, Dershowitz says is absolutely uh, ridiculous. This is going to cut a uh, constitutional muster when it gets to the Supreme Court. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So the foremost constitutional scholar in the United States, Dershowitz, on at least three of the four of these, has outright said there is no case whatsoever these are polit this is a political hit job and it's disgusting he's saying this is disgusting to manipulate the law in this way in our country but uh we're just gonna have to wait to see what happens with these juries yeah. and how they're gonna side and actually see if they'll actually keep it in the uh keep it in the places where they're charging them at, or will they move the case? We don't know yet. We're just going to have to wait. But we really appreciate you guys watching us. Hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 930 Central Time. Have a wonderful rest of your day.